Hello beautiful people, uh, today let's play with Skellige, it's gonna be an uh, Ursin ritual. Uh, this is a deck uh, which was, uh, I would say, very trendy uh, at some stage of the game. Uh, this is a, a deck with super high tempo, uh, you, you have cards here like uh, Roach, uh, Nickers, uh, Morg Fark, plus uh, two Skirmishers. Not to mention that obviously uh, I created this deck because we have uh, Ceres here, uh, which was like not directly um, enhanced, but it, it, she was buffed uh, by obviously these cards. So Drummond uh, Shield Mates. Uh, right now they are at five points of power, and um, I know that there there is something like this flying right now, uh, and some guys they uh, they play a deck, but this is a different kind of a deck uh, because what they try to do, they try to multiply uh, the Tramont Shieldment, and um, obviously later on in the second round or in the third round uh, by using megascopes they have uh, additionally two uh, two more of them uh, what i would say is that um, this deck it's i would say better and i wanted to introduce to you uh, this is not a new deck this is the deck which was uh, already uh, kind of trendy uh, but I don't remember how many seasons ago, but uh, it was like a pretty long time ago. Uh, but okay, now let me walk you through the cards and let's discuss the strategy. Obviously, uh, here uh, you're seeing a ritual. Uh, we have it uh, mainly uh, to uh, use on Drummond uh, Shield Maiden. And um, you need to do it twice because uh, you, you would like to play them in the first round and then you would like to play them obviously in the second or in the uh, third round. You will create additionally one more by utilizing uh, Ceres on Crate. Uh, what is also important that here you have a, a unit with uh, with the shield, and then you will, you would like to use a, a leader tick twice on knickers, and obviously the last one it's like it's it's pretty random. It doesn't matter like uh, on which you um, unit you're gonna use it. A mask of Ouroboros for tinging and consistency. Uh, then we have a neuromancy for the same purpose. Uh, Ceres, just like I mentioned before, to here uh, mainly for uh, Drummond uh, shield maidens. Uh, Lippy, just to play our Kai uh, cards uh, twice. Uh, then we have, we have Crow Mother, we would like to obviously play her uh, early in the game, uh, most preferably in round one. Uh, then Royal Decree for once again consistency. Roach, our tinning option. Birna Blan plus a uh, Coral, this is a, a combo. Uh, obviously, first you play Coral, then you then you go with Birna, and then you try to get rid of the uh, tinning package. Uh, Nickers. Obviously, this is a, a thinner operator here mainly to you to for for crows. Uh, Morkvark, uh, one of the targets for Coral and Birna. Axel, uh, three eyes, and we would like to play him twice. Uh, but the first time uh, you are playing this, uh, you play first Crow Mother. You create two crows uh, in the range row. Then obviously you play Axel in the middle of them uh, just to create two crow messengers. Uh, Freyr's Blessing, just to uh, summon all of the crows in uh, second round for bleed. Uh, Drummond, okay, this is already discussed. Then we have uh, Skirmishers, obviously this is a target for Birna and for Coral. Uh, Crow Messengers, uh, just make sure that you have one of them in your hand. Plus, obviously, Operator, this is kind of important to create uh, one of them <coughs> by using him. This, uh, because Basically, if you don't use it on uh, this uh, messenger, the operator is uh, pretty much uh, useless in the in the deck. Uh, uh, you would like to play one of them, uh, and the second one you you will keep for the second round or for the third round. Most preferably, it would be the best option to uh, play uh, this one in the second round, and uh, Freya's blessing would be perfect in the in the third round, and that would be the perfect sequencing. Uh, Mardrum uh, here, obviously. <coughs> mainly for the crows and also for a uh, crow mother the same for Mahakam ale uh, crows reason just in case uh, so we can cr uh, create uh, at least two crows so it's going to be a target for our axel uh, megascopes to create more uh, crows so as you can see <coughs> this is a spawning a deck plus the high uh, tempo plus obviously some other things which are ongoing over here i would say it's pretty interesting uh, i wanted to introduce it to you just as a refreshment so so you can always uh, have fun with it believe me this is super fun and uh, i definitely recommend you playing this i know that right now it will not be in a in a meta this is like a mem deck but uh, the similar versions are uh, right now being played so i would say that maybe you will try instead of the ones that are ongoing uh, you will play this version which is pretty old but i would say it's a uh, it's it's a better one in my opinion of course okay so thank you very much for watching thank you for your time and support please like subscribe and comment guys see you in the next video and the last announcement guys please go to the nearest shelter and adopt the dog thank you very much guys bye bye
Great deal more for you. Nothing like some overseas plundering and spring. Marauding! Galagar on 
and Sinclair shall stand ever together. Before modern Freya. Plunge all into murk with a shrill cry! My men know the meaning of sacrifice. I never miss. Even at full gallop.
Kvar er hefte! Eyes and beaks like a poisoned arrow heads. Thank you. In days, my blood boils and churns. Get in the way of me, Ant. Virgin mother and crone. I've prepared a feast for you, my children. from Kais. Yes, for F, my order! Dogs in your lake beg for mercy. Rock and eat me girly. Look in here. Whoops! 
played, my friend. Nothing like a dwarf to get you out of a tight spot. A wee hunt. I need you to listen. There is but us. In love with a fear fall. And the end. Nothing like some overseas plundering in springtime.
Modern Freya is patient, but she brooks no insult. No! 